Sup guys, Chip649 here coming at you with part, uh, god I wish I would have looked at it. Oh well, uh, welcome to the next part of Pokemon Heart Gold, and uh, in this episode we're going to be taking on Claire. I'm actually doing post commentary for this because I recorded this battle just, I don't know, sometime long ago, and uh, I figured it better than putting music over it when it's like an actual gym fight, might as well just talk over it, so. Uh, Claire, eighth gym leader in the game. Uh, first half, basically, of the game. Uh, I'd say the first half is actually a little bit more than the second half, so if you can interpret that. I don't know, like, the main story is a little bit longer than, like, the post game, but whatever. Irrelevant right now. Um, she is pretty challenging. Uh, this is actually my second time fighting her that you're watching. I lost the first time. Um, how did I lose? Oh, yeah, it's because Kingdra, like, I had it poisoned or something. I don't know, maybe, maybe that's this turn. I don't know, like I had it down and she used like three hyper potions and then she used a four store on top of that. So it's like, oh, I had this nice status condition and she kind of screwed me over. But uh, Tentacruel right here against Gyarados, as you can tell, it was just a setup Pokemon. I just wanted to get Toxic Spikes uh, for her Pokemon in the back. Gyarados can't get poisoned even if she switched out because he is a flying Pokemon. And uh, when you have a Pokemon like Magneton to come in against Gyarados, you're going to win 10 out of 10 times. I mean, unless my Magneton had less than 80 HP, which honestly is pretty close, uh, I'm going to win this battle every time. Unless maybe if he had like Waterfall, but this Gyarados doesn't have that good of moves. So Magneton is able to take out Gyarados fairly easy and the only problem is it's at 7 HP and Magneton is kind of important in this battle but uh, anyway let's she has two Dragonairs this at the same level they have the same moves except for one like one of them has Aqua Tail one of them has Thunder they both have Thunder Wave I think they both have Dragon Pulse or Dragon Breath or something and then they, I don't know if they have Safeguard or something and uh, this poison here I don't think it lasts. I can't remember when I battled. Um, because both of her Dragonair have the ability to shed skin. So if you're going to put them to sleep or paralyze them or burn them, uh, they're just going to shed it off. Like I think there's like a 33% chance or something that it gets um, its status healed. I'm not sure. Maybe 50%. Look it up. Go to Cerebi. But uh, every time I send in my Frogger against these things, it, they paralyze me, which is annoying. But um, I only have one full heal too, I didn't come prepared. But Frowligator with Ice Fang is pretty good. Yes, okay, so they have Dragon Pulse. Uh, it's a pretty good option against these things. Um, if you don't have an Ice Pokemon, I guess just send out something that doesn't get hurt by I don't know, its attacks, I guess. Fairly good defensive Pokemon and um, offensive at the same time. Probably just send out your best Pokemon against it because dragons, let's say an ice type or a dragon type yourself, which I don't think you can get a dragon type at this point in the game. Um, and you're just going to have to struggle through it, I guess. But here's your second dragon here. I'm not sure which one had which attack. Maybe one of them doesn't have thunder because if they had thunder, I feel like they would be using it. I think it, Fire Blast, it's some elemental move like that or something. I'm not sure. But one of them has Aqua Tail, I know for sure. And the poison is going to hurt them. And I think I just go for the Ice Fang. Yep, I just go for the Ice Fang and hopefully I don't get paralyzed. Do I get paralyzed? Yes, I do. What an annoyance. And there's the Shed Skin. So, let's switch out, I guess, and we're going to go over to Jinx for fodder, I guess. It's kind of low by me. And as you can tell, I did not train Jinx up to level 36. Um, I have the ability to speed these games up when I'm training to, like, whatever, 3, 4, I think it's infinite um, speed, I guess. And... I just, I just didn't really feel like going back to Pokemon Center a million times because Jinx is so weak defensively, it's just ridiculous. And it can't really knock out stuff in one hit. 
where I'm at in the game. I can't knock out grapplers in one hit and stuff. So I don't know. I think I'm just going to maybe look for something else other than Jinx that's going to be a little bit of higher level. Maybe only go with five Pokemon. Five Pokemon seems to be working fine. Then they can maybe be like level 42, 43 for the Elite Four, something like that. 44 possibly. So that'll be kind of nice if I only have five. Otherwise, I'll just catch something on the way to Victory Road. And here is the Big Kahuna, Kindra, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Arguably my favorite. Just look at how BA that thing looks. God, that's awesome. 41, let's go, baby. But that poison on it is very, very helpful. But as you can tell by the length of this video, I have a little trouble taking this thing out. I don't really have a lot of options for it. Uh, my Prowligator's paralyzed, I can't sub him in because it's kind of just a stupid exercise, I guess. I mean, slower. He can hit me hard with Hyper Beam and Dragon Pulse. So, Feraligator is not the best Pokemon to go against it. Magneton is at 7 HP, so it doesn't have a lot of options. Um, I'm going to go for Sonic Boom and he's just going to knock me out. That was kind of a stupid move, but uh, it has Hydro Pump. But the good thing about Hydro Pump, it only has five of them, so if you can just. What am I doing there on the bottom screen? Look at that. If you can. Uh, get rid of those five then you should, it's out of water moves but then it has I don't know if it has safeguard or no smoke screen has smoke screen so that can be kind of annoying but uh, Pidgeot here we evolved our Pidgeotto in the last episode I have an orange berry on it it's covering a lot of health and right here is a good move by me I use pluck and I'm able to steal a stitcher's berry so then it can't heal and I get to heal the full uh, 30 health there and toxic poison is gradually getting annoying for her and I'm gonna use quick attack just to get a little bit extra damage before he kills me and I think yeah I use dragon balls for some reason here and I think I survive I do with 2 HP but I think it knocks it down into the red yeah see oh yeah the, she actually does use um, Hyper Potions, and then she uses a full restore, which is kind of annoying. She hadn't used any of her items, so yeah, right here she uses Hyper Potion, which is whatever, I mean, that's fine. But I used Fly, and the Toxic Poison is still racking up against it. But I mean, so I get three turns of Toxic Poison when I use Fly, that's awesome. So here's Fly, because it was, it was already faster than me, so I get another turn. And it doesn't quite knock it out, but right here is this is really annoying. It uses a forest door. It's like, why don't you use that the first time? When it used that forest door, I honestly thought I was going to lose because I, I have nothing to put damage on this thing. It's pretty good defensively. It's a high level. It's 41. I mean, I'm all my Pokemon are just shot right now. I got a paralyzed for alligator. I got a Pidgeotto here, or Pidgeotto 2 HP didn't really know what to do so I'm like uh, I think I go and revive Magneton honestly oh max revive Magneton do I? yeah I max revive Magneton okay so here's something I've gotten pretty good at over the years is item whoring these like boss fights in Pokemon like I'm not always at the highest level even when I just play for fun without doing these playthroughs so I just I'm getting really good at item hoarding. It's not really like the most um, socially accepted way to play, I guess, but I don't know. It gets the job done sometimes. Like sometimes in the Elite Four and stuff, I use just 20 hyper potions per battle, just wearing them out. But, but yeah, since I was able to survive that a hit, I'm able to paralyze it, and that really helps out because I, I think they only have one four store. At least that's what I was hoping. And I use a Hyper Potion on Magneton. Which is cool. I think I'm just trying to hope for a Paralyze. And it, I get a Paralyze, wow. <laughs> Look at that. 
finally the computer is giving me the cheese instead of them. I'm just looking for items to use here. Uh, I think I revived Pidgeotto? Oh, P or Pidgeotis, I can't even get it straight. Revive Pidgeot. Do it. It's the right move. Don't revive. Okay, yeah, Pidgeot, there we go. Because Pidgeots will be fast. I think everything will be faster than it if it's. And it misses the Hydro Pump. Look at that. So I get a free Sonic Boom, I think I use. Yeah, Sonic Boom. Bang, bang, bang. Ooh, 20 HP, right? And now it uses Smoke Screen, which is like, what are you doing? But I mean, I guess, yeah, I have three more hits. Or at least two more hits. So I go ahead and use a Hyper Potion to get Pidgeot up. Because it's. It's been like proven that it's Hydro Pump can't take me out, and Dragon Pulse is not very effective. So, and Hyper Beam not very effective. It didn't even use Hyper Beam in this battle yet. And it already smoke screened me, but I'm able to hit, which is cool. Get that going down. It's paralyzed, which is nice. I don't even think I switch out here. I think Magneton just takes it out. Another one, smoke screen again, which whatever. If he used another forest door here, I probably would have lost, I'm not gonna lie. So let's down a thing. Yeah, oh yeah, it does use hyper beam. Okay. I think I survive it though. I do, it didn't even do half. Come on. Oh yeah, it just recharges and oh look at that I missed. Ah. And I get it, so there's Claire, ladies and gentlemen. Um that is the 8th gym leader in the game right there. Hope you guys enjoyed. Finally passed 8 gym leaders. Took us over a year here, but uh, we're slowly but surely getting through this game. Uh, I think we'll be probably done by, I want to say, end of summer. I'm going to put my thing way out in the future. It's not that many parts. I mean, I'm guessing maybe less than 10 parts left. So, uh, hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little post commentary action. Um, uh, we'll be going southward towards. New Bark Town in the next episode, and I hope you enjoy. Thanks, guys, for watching.